Good morning everybody, Gloria from Unique here. Um, I just thought I'd show you some basics that I've been learning on the makeup course using all the Unique products. So I prepared my face with Glorious Primer, um, which just closes your pores and gives you a smoother um, skin to work on. Um, and then what I've got is um, my correction powder and I've sprayed a little bit of rose water in the lid just to make this wet. And then what I'm going to do is just do my dark circles under my eyes. And some little scars that I've got. You don't have to spend ages doing this, but if you were you've got scars or um, blemishes that you don't really like, then you can use the correction powder, but they use it in the makeup courses, obviously to give a better um, look for photos, i.e. wedding photos, party, etc. So that um, you get that overall airbrushed look. So any red spots, any pimples, reddened areas, which we get as we get older, blue veins, um, on the makeup courses they have all sorts of different colours of um, correction powders for these things but I have to say Unique is um, very versatile and this one seems to do it all so I know my areas and I'm just very quickly putting my correction powder on so there you go Dark circles, we don't, we don't want those, do we? Ladies, we don't want to look like we've had a night out on the towels when we haven't. Okay, so that done, I then take my foundation, which is BB Flawless, just a little bit, and I'm just using it in downward strokes, which again is what they tell it. I always thought it was upward strokes with foundation, but it's um, apparently not right, you have to do it downwards. And just go over the correction powder, don't worry about it, it will blend in. If it doesn't you can do something about it afterwards, but this is the way to get a better coverage on your skin. And straight away you can see it looks more even. And then what I do is I take my touch mineral powder and instead of using the pad that comes with it, I like to use a, a blusher type brush. And this just sets your foundation and again gives you a more even skin tone and this one that I'm using is taffeta which is quite light but not pale pale um, the other one I've got is um, probably more for tan skins so going under the chin as well over the eyes and there you can see that's the skin prep done. At this stage, I like to put my eyebrows on. So I take my eyebrow brush, brush upwards, take my eyebrow pencil, which is a precision pencil in um, brown, which I can't remember the name, prim and upward stroke at the beginning, go over the top, go underneath, and then fill in. So again, upward stroke at the beginning, over the top, underneath, and fill in. And 
can do little upward strokes so that it catches the hairs and looks more natural. Okay, they, they often look a bit dark like mine do before you put your makeup on, but I wouldn't worry about that. I promise you they don't look that dark <clears throat> once um, everything is on. Then take the brush again, brush upwards. And that's done. And then if you're going to put um, some blusher on, I'm going to use this one, which is my bronzer, which is Malibu. And I use the darker shade under my cheekbones, coming down into a point. We don't know where they are. Just suck in. And then under the chin. This is a quick way of doing things. You can do it with other foundation. You can highlight, you can do all sorts of contouring. And then just a little bit of lighter bronzer, because this is in two shades, over the top and around the hairline. And there you go. That's your face prepped, ready to put your eyeshadows and everything else on. Okay, we'll do the next bit in the next video. Thank you.